So in this video, I'm going to talk about question two from midterm two in Matthew 56 from March 2015. And that question asks you to analyze the system of equations given by x prime equal ax, where the matrix A is given by this expression. So let's transcribe that. Well, let's actually first check. What we're asked to do is find intervals or values of alpha for which the steady state is an unstable node, an unstable spiral, a stable spiral, a stable node, and a saddle. So let's write all that down. First we have the matrix A is minus alpha 1 minus 1 minus 3 alpha. And I'm going to use the approach of using the trace and determinant. So lambda squared, minus, the trace is minus 4 alpha, so I have to put a plus 4 alpha in the characteristic equation times lambda. And then I'm going to add the determinant, which is minus minus gives me a plus 3 alpha squared. So 3 alpha squared minus minus 1 is plus 1, so it's plus 3 alpha squared plus 1 equals 0. <clears throat> now I could analyze the roots of this equation using the quadratic formula and watching what's going on under the square root sign. <clears throat> the quick way to do this, however, is to look in the trace determinant plane. So let's do that. Here's the trace of A, and here is the determinant of A. And what I'd like to do, so the trace of A is equal to minus 4 alpha, and the determinant of A is equal to 3 alpha squared plus 1. So the curve that we really are interested in comparing to is the curve determinant of a equal 1 over 4 trace of a, all squared, because this curve tells us whether we have nodes or spirals. If we're above this curve, we have spirals. If we're below it, we have nodes, unless we're below the, the trace axis, in which case we have saddles. So let's actually draw the curve for this set of alpha values. And what does that mean? That means I want to solve for alpha, and I'll get trace of a over minus 4. And now that tells me that the determinant of a, written as a function of trace of a, will be 3 times this quantity, trace of a over 4, minus 4, all squared plus 1. So there I get 3 over 16 trace of a, all squared, plus 1. Now what's clear from this is that 3 over 16 is less than 1 over 4. So the parabola that we get for this curve, in other words, if we plot the trace and determinant for each value of alpha, we would plot a series of points that has a lower amplitude than this curve, which is determinant of a equal one quarter alpha, a uh, trace of a squared. But then we're shifting it up by one. So it's a flatter parabola, but starts higher. So that means I'm going to have to draw a parabola like this. And let me just emphasize, I'll make this in blue. So it's clear that we're talking about this expression here. So the blue one is our particular matrix for all sorts of different values of alpha. Now there's three interesting points. One point is right there, another point is right there, and another one right there. You'll notice that out here alpha is negative because alpha is directly proportional to trace, but with a minus sign in front. And out here, alpha is positive. And right here, alpha is equal to 0. So we know the location of one transition, and we just have to figure out where the other two are. How do we find those other two? We set 3 over 16 trace squared plus 1 equal to 1 over 4 trace squared. And that will tell me where the two parabolas cross. So if I bring this over to this side, I get 1 over 16 trace squared, and that's equal to 1. 
So that means that trace squared is equal to 16, so the trace is equal to plus or minus 4 at those transitions when I cross the parabola, the spiral node parabola. And that means that the trace of A is equal to minus 4 alpha, and that's equal to plus or minus 4. So that means alpha is equal to plus or minus 1 at those transitions. So if we start with alpha much bigger than 1, we're way out here and we have a stable node. If alpha is between 0 and 1, that means we're between this point here and alpha equals 0, then we're a stable spiral. And if alpha is bigger than minus one, but less than zero, that puts us in this little zone here, and that is going to give us, oops, unstable spirals. And alpha bigger than, or less than minus one, will put us out here, and that gives us unstable nodes. And there are no saddles because the blue curve never goes below the determinant equals zero line, which is the trace axis. So saddles we don't get. And these are the correct conditions. Now, so you should have gotten one point for each of these if you got these all correct. If you didn't get them all correct, you should have gotten points for associating the condition alpha positive with stability, alpha negative with instability, alpha squared greater than one with nodes, and alpha squared less than 1 with spirals. And if you didn't get any of these, but you got some of these correct, you would have gotten one point for each of these associations. Some points were also given if you correctly calculated the trace and the determinant, or if you used the uh, quadratic formula and derived or worked on some uh, attempt at inequalities correctly.